Hello and thank you for visiting Coastal Custom Wine Cellars. I'm going to take you on a short video tour of a project that actually started last summer, July of 2017, in San Juan Capistrano, California. This wine cellar was actually a basement area. As you can see here, we knocked out the exterior wall to expose a storage area. Uh, that was behind three car garage which is situated off screen here way to the left and uh, we went in did some consultation with the client to learn more about wants to manage and store and display his wines and we created a three-dimensional design package which is what we're going to look at here now uh, there's 11 pages everyone is uh, entitled to a complimentary design which includes this floor plan that we're looking at elevations of each of the walls and of course some 3d visuals so this was his entry there was a little storage room here and we kept uh, some wooden cases in this shelving area right here elevation a so I'll take you around the room here alphabetically real quick and we'll take a look at each one of these. Elevation A was simply, uh, and these icons represent um, original wooden cases which are 12 packs, but because we supplied adjustable shelving as you can see noted here at the bottom, you can actually control the spacing for taller boxes because indeed as the industry's changed it still has the size of the boxes, 3 packs, 6 packs, 12 packs and so on. The Elevation B were actually more into the main wine cellar. Each of the pages will have a side view and this particular storage area, some obstacles, if you will. The fireplace pit was located, or the backside of it, I should say, was located in the storage area. There was multiple heights to deal with, with some concrete foundation and brick walls. So what we did with this one here is we, we certainly took it full height to just shy of seven feet, but this foundation wall here created an obstacle. So we just made single deep racking in the front, as we're looking at here. And up top, we were able to increase the depth so that two bottles could be stored in each one of these cubby holes uh, just above the display row. So the dimensions are also posted there as you can see but the inch and a half dimension here at the bottom indicates the height of the toe kick now these toe kicks can be up to four inches five inches but because the ceiling was so small not very tall indeed we wanted to keep the toe kick to a minimum the toe kick simply keeps the components and the wine bottles off the wall for the most part as you can see is indeed single bottle storage racks the cubbies are three and three quarter by three and three quarter on average so they will accommodate bordeaux cabernets oversized pinots and, and burgundy bottles standard champagnes all kinds of Syrahs and Zinfandales. Only two bottles I know of that won't fit there would be the Dom Champagne and a Turley Zinfandale. Let's take a look at Elevation C now. Elevation C, uh, again, looking at the site here, it's 27 inches deep up to countertop height, and we've included a double deep display row, which is illuminated, and above the tabletop area, they're single deep at 13 and a half inches deep. This allows for a very wide countertop area for you to work with. There are open bottles of wine. We have an arched opening that's uh, actually open to the wall, and as you'll see in some of the pictures, the, we actually assisted in the mural that he had placed there in this area. Flanked to the left, and to the right of the arch are label forward horizontal displays and again more single bottle storage with the tilted display. Elevation 5 was the right side wall. The right side wall is, um, again, single deep, more of the single bottle storage and the high reveal display row. This opening is actually left for the cooling unit. We used a Whisper Cool split refrigeration system, and on the wall here, you can see it. Um, the Whisper Cool is a, one of the finest products in the industry. I'm an authorized dealer for them. Just a quick note that they're no longer this bronzy color. They are indeed a black color now, uh, and they make split systems that accommodate smaller rooms and some even actually larger than this particular room. Here you can see indeed the mural that was created and placed behind the arch. Now going back to the drawings, we'll see uh, another elevation on the wall across from the uh, arched opening. It's some diamond bins for bulk storage, more single ball of storage, and then this quarter round display is right near the entry, and it's a, a nice fixture so that when you first walk into the room, it's not a, just a square edge or the side of the wine racks. These three-dimensional drawings here in this top view looking down will indeed kind of give you an idea of what's just right of the entry there. The wood case storage racks in the four your area for lack of a better term the main wine cellar the back wall and the side wall with the cooling unit all in all a very fun project to work on if we can be of any assistance please contact us for a complimentary consultation and three-dimensional design package